All right, everyone, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. So just so you know, there's a lot of new subscribers. This is a daily running vlog. What does that mean? I publish a new video every single day on YouTube at 5 a.m. Mountain Time. So this is going to be the last video about Western States. I just got back late, late well, actually early this morning, about 3 a.m. So I am beat. Actually, when you're watching this, I'm on a little teeny tiny mini vacation. So what this vlog is about is basically all the uh, behind the scenes footage and basically my assessment of what's happening during the Western States race that didn't make the cut in the other two videos that I've already published in the last couple days. Does that sound good? Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I had just so many new subscribers, probably a lot of folks from the West Coast, a lot of folks uh, that are fans of the Western States race. And so anyway, this is a daily running vlog, 5 a.m. Mountain Time. Just want to make that very clear up front. All right, roll the tape. What it takes to film the Western States 100. First of all, a lot of coffee. It is 3.41 a.m. We're about to rock and roll from Truckee to Squaw Valley for the start of the race, 5 a.m. So we got about an hour and 20 minutes. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All right, it's, I didn't sleep well last night. Didn't sleep well, oh boy. Usually it's the runners that are caught staring at the ceiling all night. I couldn't help myself. I was too excited. This is a Super Bowl of ultra running. I just I was up all night, so this is gonna gonna be an interesting 36 hours, 48 hours. Oh my goodness! All right, let's rock and roll. Trying not to blind you by looking right at the camera. All right, off to the valley. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Robinson Flat Aid Station. Look at this place, it is beautiful. We don't have trees like this in Colorado. They're so big, just look up at those guys. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. Okay, shout out to James, a vlog fan who I just met at the aid station. He's uh, run this race, he's uh, volunteered a lot, and he, he just gave me a ton of tips as far as how to navigate around the back roads of California to get to the different aid stations for filming for all of you, so thank you James for that. And here's a quick update, uh, mile 10, uh, here's the leader, Halvard Scholberg Scho in 142. He was four minutes ahead of these guys, uh, Gediminas Grinius, Tom Evans, Johnny Clemens, Jim Walmsley, Morgan Elliott, Ryan Sands, Stephen Kirsch, Jared Hazen, and Eric Sensman to round out the top 10. That was at mile 10, but then I did just get one more update at mile 15. 
Jim Walmsley in first, about a minute ahead of that, that gentleman, Halvard Schoberg. And then, uh, rounding out the top 10, Gediminas Grinius. Uh, so I'm not saying that right. Morgan Elliott, Jared Hayes, and Tom Evans, Stephen Kirsch, Matt Daniels, Kib, Kim Magnus, and Johnny Clemens. And then I'm just looking at the lady. Well, I'm looking for Courtney real quick. I think she was, anyway, at mile 10, she was in, let's see, she was in... So we're still at Robinson Flat waiting for the leaders. They should be here in about 30 minutes. And we're just trying to figure out the uh, where the runners go because of all the snow. Look at all the snow this year. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Yes, they will be crossing this field here soon. I don't know exactly where we're going, YouTube family, but I do know that Brian of I Run Far is in the car ahead of us. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna follow him because I'm hoping he knows where he's going. We're just cruising through these huge trees. I believe we're on our way to Michigan Bluff, but uh, again, first time out here, just figuring it out, figuring it out. How you like them apples? All oh, some epic footage at Michigan Bluff. Yeah, those are the two leaders on the men's side, obviously. Jared Hazen in second and Jim Walmsley in first. They have a lead. They have quite a significant lead, so we cannot stay here. We gotta zip to the next stop, Forest Hill, in order to catch them again, and then we'll stop there, plant ourselves for probably at least a couple hours uh, to catch the rest of the guys and then the ladies as well coming through. I'm assuming Courtney's still in first. I don't know for sure, but that was amazing, epic, great footage. Oh, this is, it's crazy out there. The crowds, the enthusiasm, it's amazing. So, see you in Forest Hill. Oh, you didn't have to stop. <laughs> didn't see any pink flags at the last location. So that's like a big, I, I'm glad I remembered that. It's not too late, so I had to book it out of there. Now I'm at No Hands Bridge, which is three miles to go in the race. And Jim should be here in the next, we're thinking like next 15 minutes. We, we're not exactly sure. We're just following along online, probably like all of you. So, oh man, it's just crazy. I, he's definitely, so what we're all talking about, there's like a pool starting. But he's definitely going to break the course record again. But now we're wondering, could he break 14 hours? That's kind of the question. All right. Buckle up. It's going to be fun. Came up behind me at mile 93. 
And then we passed together the place that I DNF two years ago at like 93.5. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is awkward. Test like, one, two, this, three, this test, 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 one, two, three, test, 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 test. And welcome to the 2019 Western States 100 Day 1 Rough Cut. All right, and there you go, a little behind the scenes from the 2019 Western States 100 between squaw, and yes, squaw is going to be the keyword, and Auburn, California, 100 miles, absolutely epic. And the question of the day, shout out to all the new subscribers. Just so you know, I ask a new question of the day every single day. All right, so here it is. All the new subscribers, let us know if you're new and where you are from. There's, it seems like there's at least 500 new subscribers in the past three or four days, so welcome. And uh, if you're a long, a long term, uh, you've been subscribed for a long time, maybe go welcome them down there. Let them know what we do here on this channel, which is of course, seek beauty, work hard.